Ryan Gosling and Rachel McAdams were the envy of anyone longing for the ultimate Hollywood romance as young lovers know and Allie in the Notebook. But a fabled audition tape, hidden for two decades by Hollywood casting director Matthew Barry and shared exclusively with DailyMail.com, reveals just how close a then 21-year-old Britney Spears came to clinching the lead role after putting on a stunningly emotional display during her screen test with Gosling. According to Barry, the singer, now 41, beat out a slew of other hopefuls, including Claire Danes, Scarlett Johansson, Amy Adams, and Jessica Biel, and was the front-runner for the part of Allie, before the movie's creators ultimately settled on McAdams, now 44. Spears fans have been desperately waiting to see the coveted 2002 screen test for years, with an eBay listing appearing in 2021 purportedly offering it up for $1 million. Now, DailyMail.com can exclusively reveal the singer's emotional two-and-a-half-minute audition, in which she slowly breaks down in tears in front of Gosling while reading through a particularly raw and iconic scene just months after her ex Justin Timberlake brutally ended their three-year relationship with a text message. The clip sees Spears, who is dressed in a white lace top and wearing her hair down, and Gosling, who is standing off camera, reading through a scene together, with the pop star slowly tearing up as she goes through her lines. I'm not staying, she begins. I tried to call you to tell you that I wasn't going to stay, but nobody answered the phone. Struggling to maintain eye contact as she deals the devastating blow that her character is going ahead with her plans to marry another man, Spears continues, Noah, you can't marry two people, and I'm marrying Lon, so I should go, okay proving why she deserved to be in contention for the role. She then starts crying as she tells Gosling, I prayed for you to die in the war, really. Well, not die. I would have felt completely horrible if you would die. But I kind of didn't want you to be alive anymore because I couldn't bear the thought of you being with somebody else or of us never seeing each other again. So I gotta go, okay. According to Barry, Spears' breathtaking display of raw emotion blew away the movie's producer and had all but secured her role in the movie. Before McAdams stepped in front of the camera and was chosen as the ideal leading lady, Britney wasn't just good, she was phenomenal, said Barry as he recalled the audition in a Los Angeles studio on August 18, 2002. It was a tough decision. Britney blew us all away. Our jaws were on the floor. I was blown away. Absolutely blown away. She brought her a game that day. Based on the 1996 novel of the same name by Nicholas Sparks, the notebook follows Allie and Noah who fall in love in the 1940s before being forced apart by her disapproving mother. They finally reunite seven years later when she is engaged to wealthy businessman Lon Hammond Jr. Played by James Marston, after she sees a picture of Noah outside the house he vowed to buy and restore for her. Everyone vying for the role was presented with the same monologue, a twist on the scene in which Noah berates Allie into deciding which man she would rather be with. Barry said, Britney beat out several of the top female actresses at the time. Scarlett Johansson, Claire Danes, Kate Bosworth, Amy Adams, Jamie King and Mandy Moore auditioned for this role. Britney beat out all of them. Everybody who was anybody that year wanted this part. Also in contention for the role was Beale, 42, the current wife of Spears' ex Timberlake. Recalling Beale's audition, Barry said, the director Nick, Ryan and I actually flew to Texas where she was filming Texas Chainsaw Massacre and taped her in her trailer between shots. It finally came down to a tough call between Spears and then unknown actress McAdams, who bosses eventually settled on. The decision was welcomed by Spears who said she would have felt messed up spending weeks playing 1940s heiress Alley. 